Sa punto pa ito, makakausap natin si Cesar Flores, ang presidenta ng Smartmatic Asia Pacific. Good afternoon, Mr. Flores. This is P.R. Kanghel of Balitang Hali. Good afternoon, Pia. Good afternoon. Uh, well, there are a lot of issues surrounding the source code and uh, a lot of it has been coming out in the news today. But um, for the sake of our viewers, could you just please educate us on the role of the source code and how important it really is for the PICOS machines? Uh, it's it's very important uh, because uh, <clears throat> every software that you use, let's say any application that you download on your phone or any software that you you have ever bought, let's say when you install uh, Microsoft soft license in your computer, mm -hmm. what you are installing is what we call an executable file, mm -hmm. meaning it's a type of it's a software that only the 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 hardware can read. Humans cannot read that type of language. Mm -hmm. Only computers. So, but how do you get to that format? First, the programmers need to write the, the software in human readable language. And this is what we call the source code. Basically, the source code are the, the instructions that will later on become uh, machine readable software. Let me put it this way. It's, if you're cooking something, any dish, the source code is the equivalent to the recipe to cook that dish. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, what are the findings so far of uh, SLI Global Solutions uh, when it comes to their review of the source code? Oh, that's a very good question. Uh, SLI, as you know, is an international accredited um, lab. And they are, uh, they were, uh, um, how do you call it, deputized by the Federal Election Assistant Commission in the U.S. And they also created by the National Institute of Standards and Technology in the U.S., so Comelec uh, basically uh, asked SLI to review the source code already. Not only the source code, the whole system. And uh, basically one important uh, re uh, consequence is that SLI found no intentionally malicious code uh, having been written uh, by the vendor and included in the voting system. That's mm -hmm. one of the most important findings. Uh, there they, uh, they find no major discrepancies. They, uh, they also ran a series of volume and stress uh, testing. They also conducted an accuracy test that uh, show 100% accuracy return. So all in all, it's a very positive uh, report, which, by the way, is available on Comelec's website. So mm. for, it's been there since uh, February for anyone to download. All right, but then there will also be a review for the source code here in the Philippines, right? And the, the problem yes. is is that it won't be done until after the election. So uh, how, how no, will this affect... that's not correct. That's uh -huh. not correct. The, source, the review will start this week, I think tomorrow already. But it will not be but completed. It will, it will continue all the way to, mm -hmm. I don't know, one or two months, even after the elections. So the review will start, but it will not be completed until after the elections. Yeah, well, the review of the PICOS component, because the mm -hmm. review by the political parties and interested group of the canvassing and mm -hmm. consolidation okay. system was already finished. Oh, okay. So, um, given that, well, that's the case, right? I mean, we already have the positive findings of the SLI, and then um, the review is expected to start this week. But uh, if after the elections it will be found that there was a problem with the source code, uh, will there be any liabilities? Yeah, of course. But that mm -hmm. won't happen because we know how this that, that we know how uh, perfectly written the code is, and we rely already on this certification by SLI. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, we know the, we, we we wrote the code, and it's the same code, by the way, that it's being used in the state of New York, mm -hmm. and also in Ontario and New Brunswick in Canada, and has been also reviewed by the electoral commissions in the U.S. and in Canada. Oh, okay. So, so in other words. Um, it has been road tested. Yeah, many, many times. So we know that the, the, the software is supposed to do what it's supposed to do. It's secure and it's accurate. Mm -hmm. And there are no malicious intentions or any hidden instructions in it. But th let, me, let me reinforce what is the purpose of this review. Um, mm -hmm. uh, if you look at the Republic at 9669, basically there has to be a certification by an by international uh, institute uh, and it's very detailed in the type mm -hmm. of tests and, mm -hmm. uh, and um, areas that need to be submitted uh, mm -hmm. uh, to this international group. Uh, you I invite you to, to go into, you know, to download the law, 9269, 
and also the technical evaluation committee. Mm. So there is a uh, the law is very explicit in what needs to be tested. Mm. And later on, what it says is after that that is done, then the political parties, and this is I'm, I'm verbatim what the law says, Comelec uh, will make available to political parties and interested mm. groups the source code for their review thereof. Mm -hmm. So there is no explicit, uh, let's say, parameters in what the review will be. Mm -hmm. So, so far, um, last month, political parties and groups already reviewed the source code, uh, mm -hmm. a piece of the source code that belongs to the canvassing and consolidation software. And their findings so far is that, you know, there's, the software mm -hmm. works, there's nothing, uh, there are no malicious uh, mm -hmm. code or anything like that. Basically, they, they, they also agreed with the SLI. And let me put it this way, the canvassing and consolidation software is the one that counts most of the votes mm -hmm. because the PICOS call will count up to 1,000, but the canvassing and consolidation will literally consolidate more than 40 million votes on election mm -hmm. day. All right. And well, that was already done. Mm -hmm. in, in, I think it was a review that took somewhere between three and four weeks. Mm -hmm. So really, the so, uh, the review that's uh, suppo or scheduled to be conducted here is more of a check and balance because some people think that when we say that the source code will be reviewed here in the Philippines, it's because it hasn't been reviewed abroad or it hasn't passed certain standards yet. But really, it's just a check and balance system. Precisely. The, the idea behind this is to show the political parties, hey, this source code which was already reviewed and mm -hmm. passed with flying colors, here you have it. There's nothing to hide. It's complete transparency. It's a matter more mm -hmm. of credibility, actually. And the, 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 the political parties will be able to check if this is one and the same piece of software that was already mm -hmm. reviewed, which is something that you do through the calculation of hash files. It, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a technical procedure, but it's basically a mathematical proof that this is one and the same software that was reviewed. And uh, also there is a precedent, uh, I don't know if you're aware, that in the year 2010, after the elections were finished, mm -hmm. uh, one of the groups, by the way, who have been most critical about the lack of source code, actually petitioned to the Supreme Court that the source code will be available. Mm -hmm. So the same group already, by petitioning this after the elections, already agreed that it's okay to even have the source code after the elections. Mm -hmm. But it's funny that now that the source code is here, the same group is complaining and saying that it's too late. So I don't understand. I find a contradiction mm -hmm. uh, when they say in 2010 it was okay to have it after the elections, but now in 2013 it's not mm -hmm. early enough. Mm -hmm. And also there is another contradiction in most of these groups because uh, when mm -hmm. Comelec opened the process six weeks ago mm -hmm. for the political parties to apply and, and interested groups to apply to review the source code, only one political party and only one watchdog apply. Mm -hmm. So most of the groups that now are complaining never even bother to request to review the source code to begin with. All right. Well, okay. So, but, uh, okay, just to clarify, one last question, Mr. Flores. These are the same groups that are asking to uh, review the source code now. Yeah, but they had two mm -hmm. weeks to file a mm -hmm. petition in Comelec and get their paperwork and they never did it. Okay. Like I said, when the, they had the, all the source okay. code has different components. The CCS, which is the canvassing and consolidation software, was already reviewed by political mm -hmm. parties and interested group. Unfortunately, when that process was open, only one political party and one watchdog applied. And none of these groups that today are shouting that it's too late to review ever even mm -hmm. applied. Don't you find it a contradiction in a sort? Mm -hmm that these groups want so badly to have a review of the source code, yet they mm -hmm. never applied for it. All right. Well, Mr. Flores, thank you so much for shedding light on this issue, and thank you for uh, sharing your time with us. Mr. Cesar Flores, President of Smartmatic Asia-Pacific, thank you very much, and good afternoon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah.